And we actually need to care for God's creation. We need to care for animals. And I think one of the current conversations in our world today is this discussion. What is our responsibility as human beings in relationship to all of God's creation? These Christian leaders acknowledged crucial truths that God created the animals, made covenants with them, blessed them, and called them good. Humans have a natural empathy for animals. It's instinctive for us to wince when we see them suffer. And we are particularly uncomfortable when that suffering is inflicted by humans because we have total power over them. As Christians, we are in a relationship with an all-powerful God, yet he is merciful. We are the recipients of his compassion, mercy, grace, and forgiveness. Can we not extend a portion of this mercy to his creatures? Adopt an animal instead of purchasing one from a pet store. Consider more humane ways to deal with wildlife. And when possible, avoid food products that come from farms that confine animals in cages and crates so small they can't turn around. We have so much love and appreciation for animals, yet we have 10 billion animals slaughtered for food. We have millions that are used in laboratories. Many killed, many millions killed for the fur trade. We have dog fighting, we have cock fighting. We have so many problems in our society. We've got all the power in the relationship over animals. We can choose to be abusive or exploitative, or we can choose to act with decency and mercy toward other creatures. When you exhibit more kindness, it spreads out through society. You know, and when you're cruel to animals, that spreads out as well. And we want people moving in the right direction. Whether it's factory farming or another animal welfare issue, our hope is that you are open to thinking about these other creatures, that you connect with an issue that is compatible with your ministry and fulfills your calling as a steward of God's creation. We can all do something. Thank you.